we're living in a day and age where I say, you know, it's not so much that we, we're, we're teaching teenagers, but we're teaching screenagers. Everything with our students is a screen, a phone, a computer, text message, Facebook, social networking of all kinds, multimedia. And we're dealing with a different time. And now, more so than ever, it is so important to understand that, you know, in my generation, it was important to go to college. But now, with this younger generation, it is critically important that they go to college. Students who go on and earn a college degree over the course of their lifetime, uh, they will earn a million dollars more than students who only have a high school diploma. My advice to all of you who aspire to be student athletes at the college level or aspire to go on to college is right now, hopefully in your middle school year or if you're in the ninth grade, go to your senior year, go to your counselor and backward map from your senior year on down. At the minimum, you need to graduate from high school at the minimum with Algebra two. Most universities now will not even strongly consider you unless you have successfully completed Algebra two. And if you are enrolled in a public school, it is not the school that will make you successful. It's your desire to be the best that you can be. The time is now to prepare for that. The time is to discipline yourself, to work hard, make the most of your day, rise early, go to sleep early, as early as you can, get good rest, eat good, live a healthy lifestyle, but make sure that your education and your learning is at the forefront of everything you do. There's a quote that I used to tell my players every day. I used to tell them, every day you get better or worse, but you never stay the same. So at the end of the day, when you look in the mirror and you, and you ask yourself, did I get better today? Because you're not staying the same. You either got better today or you got worse. So it's a matter of prioritization, um, making things happen, um, being willing to sacrifice comfortable things and put yourself in a state of discomfort so that you can um, achieve, you can be resilient and overcome adversity. And that's my counsel to all of the youth. Learning is so exciting and it'll make life so much more satisfying.